Cursed or blessed? Big difference between those two things. Cursed or blessed? Oh, my time is up. It's a quarter after 12. <laughs> cursed or blessed? I'll make it fast. Just stop and think for a little bit. If there's, you can walk cursed or you can walk blessed. How big a difference is it? It's huge, isn't it? It's day and night. Hmm. Never, I've never really met anybody much that wanted to be cursed. Met a lot of people who want to be blessed. When we used to have our school here, I'd have chapel up here, and I'd sometimes say, who wants to go to heaven, who wants to be blessed? And they all, all raise their hands. I said, how many think you're going to be blessed? And I raised their hands. I said, why do you think you're going to be blessed? And they said, because God loves me. I said, well, that's great, but there's, I said, there's a problem there. I said, what's the problem? He loves everybody. Man, the, whatever revelation you can get of how much God loves you is, you know, passionate about you. Get it. Man, get it. You know, one of the scenes I like in Indiana Jones, I'm not Indiana Jones, it was, uh, what's it, the other movie he's in? Star Wars? Uh, is that in? But anyway, uh, it, the princess says at a crucial moment, I love you. And, and I love his response. He goes, I know. Real arrogant, real, you know, but it's like, that's what we need to do when God says, I love you. We need to say, I know. And the more you know, experience that incredible thing that he loves you, you cannot, you can always go higher. He is so in love with you. But he so loved the world that he gave, so he's in love with everybody you meet. Whether you like him or not, whether you want to curse him or not, uh, he's in love with the world. But the whole world is not being blessed. So to say, I'm going to be blessed because God loves me, is not logical. Because it now means, it's almost saying, he loves me more than you. And that's not true. That's not true. He so loved the world. So the issue is not so much that God loves you or not loves you. The issue is, do you believe it? The ones that get blessed are the ones who believe. The ones that are cursed are the ones that doubt. And it's an automatic thing that it's like it, it, God is not cursing you. It's just a fact you're in death state mode. You're in a self-destruction mode. That's what happened at, uh, on the fall. You're in that mode whether you like it or not, whether you did anything wrong or not, whether you've been bad or not. It doesn't make any difference. That's where you're at. You're cursed unless you get it turned around and get blessed. And the way you turn around and get it blessed is the fact you start believing that God actually loves you. By faith, we are saved through grace. Hallelujah. You know, there are a lot of people who say that, uh, you know, when we, when we start teaching on faith and that you can be healed and you can be protected, a lot of people say, well, you're, because they were sick or didn't get healed right away, they said, you know, well, you, you don't have enough faith. I mean, some people say some really stupid things, amen? Well, you, you must not have enough faith. You know, you, it's like walking up to Daniel in the lion's den saying, if you would have had faith, you wouldn't be in trouble. It was his faith that got him in trouble. It was his faithfulness to God. You know, when you and I are struggling, don't, here's one of the main key factors of walking in, in blessing is you got to believe that there is now, now, right now, no condemnation for you. There is no, you know, if you listen to people talk, they're, they're, they're many times they're indicating they're, they're, they feel condemned for their failure. They'll, well, God, I, you know, they'll say things literally like, well, I know, God, I'm not praying enough. But, and they've accepted condemnation that they're failing. What you need to accept is the fact that you're loved. And forgiven. That's what you need to accept. There is therefore, there, Romans 8, 1, there is therefore now co no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. For the law of the spirit of life has set you free from the law of, spirit, uh, of death. In other words, you were locked in, you and I were locked in the spirit of death. We were locked into uh, being cursed. And then Jesus came, paid the price, gave it to us freely. And nothing can change that. That's truth. Speaks truth to my heart. That's the truth. The question is now, will you believe? 
It doesn't happen to everybody. It happens to those who believe. And yet at the same time, when people aren't having victory, they feel condemned. But that's don't. Just don't. You know, there's some things in life that you can work on, and there's some things you just need to not work on. You, need, you know, there are some things in my life I just say, listen, that thing just needs to be shot. 